In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 12, verses 32 to 40. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in, he in the heavens which do not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourself be like men who wait for their master, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may know him immediately. Blessed are those servants, whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have him sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third and find them so, blessed are those servants. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his household to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. In the scripture reading today, we are urged against well, let's say another way. There is a little subheading being against laziness and forgetfulness. The theme here is also that we must be prepared. We do not know when the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is returned. We are urged in many places here. Do not fear. Continues on to what I spoke about yes, yesterday. Being anxious. Do not fear, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And he's telling us. Sell what you have and give arms. Provide yourselves many money bags which do not grow old. A treasure in the heavens that does not fail. Where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. And this is the punchline. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If our treasure is here on earth, that is all we think about. If our treasure is in the house, in the home, in the bank, this is what we think about. But our treasure must be in heaven, because that is where we need to center our thoughts, our minds, with heaven. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master. We must be waiting for that coming of Jesus Christ. Not to worry about what's going on in the world, as I said, we must be centered on God on in heaven. 
And of course it goes on. We don't know when Jesus is coming. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. We must be prepared for that second coming. We don't know when it's going to happen. So as good Christians, we must be always alert for that. And not to be involved in the worldly activities. Those of Satan. Therefore you also be ready. For the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. How often have we heard people predicting the end of the world? Or the coming of Jesus? No. Such are foolish people. Jesus himself said, You do not know. The angels of heaven do not know. The Son of Man does not know. But only God the Father knows. We are small in numbers if you look at the world as a whole. We are continually being martyred for the faith in so many parts of the world. We are continually being attacked by those in the world because we are different to everybody else. We must be prepared. Do not build up treasures in heaven, Jesus tells us. Correction. Do not build up treasures here on earth, but in heaven. Yes, because where our treasure is, as Jesus said, there our hearts will be also, not here on earth. Be worried if you want to, about being prepared for that coming. The Holy Spirit will help you, will help you understand what this reading is all about and how it affects you, affects you personally. I urge you all to read the scriptures, to learn about Christ, to learn about his teachings. Oh, you of little faith, Jesus often says. You lack that faith. Our responsibility is to build up the faith within ourselves and within the world around us. We need to be a beacon to those ungodly people around us. They, through us, should see the light, the light of Christ. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.